Well, when the news broke in early March, um, just a number of weeks ago, that uh, the great Rod Marsh had passed away, it was, you know, such a, a sickling feeling in the stomach. Uh, he'd, he'd sort of been battling for around about, you know, just over a week. He was in intensive care, had a heart attack up at Bundaberg, which is the top end of Australia. So it'd been in the news for quite some time um, and, and chatting and, and like reading a lot of the papers on his condition. Everyone was so worried about Rod Marsh. And then to finally get that breaking news to say that Rod Marsh at the age of 74 has passed away was truly, um, it, it was such a, you know, a sad moment. You think about Rod Marsh and you think about Australian cricket. You think about Rod Marsh, you think about Australian summer. You think about Rod Marsh and you think about a larrikin. Rod Marsh was the the true Aussie spirit, never say die attitude, never ever give up. Um, I met Rod Marsh for the first time. It would have been at the, the Australian Cricket Academy down in Adelaide. So I got asked to go down there in 1994 uh, for a little two week campaign, uh, hopefully to get a contract the following year for a six month campaign. So I was on, I guess, trial uh, and, and met Rod Marsh for the first time. And just my initial thought was, this guy is just an absolute legend of a fella. You know, he was a tough coach, a hard coach, but a very, very fair coach. And you put that on the back of what he did in his cricketing career. Uh, you know, I, I, I was the person growing up watching my hero, Dennis Surley, and then Rod Marsh behind the stumps. And 90 odd times you heard that wonderful phrase, court Marsh bowl lily. And that was synonymous with Australian cricket, synonymous with, you know, the summer of cricket. And just to see the great Rodney Marsh diving across to his right or diving to his left and taking those spectacular catches, a specky, the one hand grab. Quite ironic as well that, uh, you know, Dennis Lilly finished on 355 test wickets and Rod Marsh finished on 355 test dismissals, which was quite, um, I, you know, I guess it just summed up exactly how tight those two were. Uh, Rod Marsh will be very uh, sorely missed by the Australian public. Ros and he, who's his beautiful wife and his uh, his kids, and I played a lot of cricket against um, you know a couple of his boys. A very talented family, and you know an Australian cricketer that will go down and will be etched in history as not only a great cricketer but a great bloke.